Hello everybody. I'm super happy to finally record this video for you because that means Beta 2 is now available. If you look at our roadmap, you'll see that this is by far the biggest update we have shipped to the game so far. It brings a ton of new features and I really hope this is going to improve uh, your experience playing the game. So uh, a lot of new stuff, let's get started. The third neighborhood of Big Ambitions has been added to the game and it's called Midtown. The 3D team has been working really hard on this one and it shows um, the area comes with brand new skyscrapers, it comes with new landmarks and also the upcoming hospital of the game. Uh, go uh, grab a car and check it out, I think it really looks good. Moving on to UI. So in Bisman we had the schedule tab, which uh, a lot of you has been frustrated about. Mainly because if you assign an employee to one day, you had to skip to the next day, assign the same employee, and so on. It, it really wasn't a pleasant experience. We have changed that, so now you can go with synced up or shared schedules. So you only have to set it off for one day, and then simply choose which days uh, the business should be open. Should be uh, much more pleasant now. Also related to the schedule UI, we have also reworked or improved on the cleaning schedules. So in the past, you could only set a schedule uh, from midnight to four o'clock. We have now changed that. So cleaning works through a cleaning station and it gives you the same freedom as like a cash register. So you can freely set up your cleaning schedules now. Talking about Bisman, we also have a section called Customer Capacity. A lot of players really didn't fully understand how it worked. So we sat down and tried to simplify how uh, the calculations are visualized. So hopefully that makes a bit more sense now. Moving on to something much more simple, a sell button. So now whenever you're holding furniture or uh, products, you can click a sell button. Same goes if you're inside a vehicle. So it just instantly sells the, uh, the vehicle. Um, I think we might be improving the immersion of this feature later on, but at least now you're able to, to sell your stuff. Item overlays are the small boxes you see on top of various items like shelves, uh, cash registers and so on. We have completely redesigned these now, so uh, not only does it look better, but it also only works by hovering. By the way, you can still press Alt key to show all overlays at the same time. Um, but overall, you, this should be a much better experience now. So everyone who has been playing Beta 1 or previous versions of Big Ambitions know exactly how annoying parking can be. So we have introduced an auto park feature, currently only available in the luxurious saloon, but will be added to more vehicles, mainly expensive ones, later on. The feature works by scanning the streets of available parking spaces. And whenever you are able to park somewhere, you just hit the auto park button and boom, your car is now parked. Another very annoying part of playing the game was the inability to look inside of the building until you actually rendered it. We have now changed that so you have a shiny new preview button whenever you are in the full menu overlay. Also we added more information like uh, the traffic index directly available. Hopefully you'll know what you are renting now. Okay, moving on to a very complex subject, I'll try to keep it simple. It is the new market demand system. Until now, we had a weird combination of various factors that would affect how popular a certain product was. What that system didn't take into consideration is that there's a different amount of customers available for very expensive products versus very cheap products. That could be expensive jewelry versus a hot dog. So the new market system completely changes that. Demand is now directly affected by the amount of businesses that is offering this product. At the same time, we are considering how expensive this product is. So the more expensive products will have way fewer customers. For all of those who are currently uh, surviving from your uh, jewelry stores, that has been massively nerfed now. The market system also now affects import prices. So if a product is popular, prices go up and the other way around. We also introduced various events that can happen like product back orders and shortages uh, and even a hype event that happen rarely but it will very quickly boost the demand for certain products. 
Okay, that was complicated. Let's move on to something a little more light. A new building layout. We call it M1. It's a retail business layout or business building. It uh, serves up to 75 customers per hour. So it's by far the biggest one so far. I imagine it, it will be mostly used for supermarkets. A new uh, main menu has also been added to the game. We are preparing for an upcoming demo of Big Ambitions. So we figured the old menu was kind of ugly. So boom, here it is, brand new one. Related to the new main menu, we have also added auto save functionality or recovery save as we call it. So if your computer crashes or our code crashes, you should now have a fairly fresh save game available. It saves on every new day in the game, of course. And here is something for all of the programmers and developers that we know are playing Big Ambitions. We have added a web development agency business type to the game. Um, you will need programmers for this type of business. Some of you might have seen Charlie play Big Ambitions on YouTube um, and you've probably seen him trying to decorate his store in the middle of the night in complete darkness. We have now changed that so every building will come with pre-installed ceiling lights. Another feature based on your guys' feedback is uh, the desktop workstations. So in Beta 1, a lot of players got confused when setting up their law firms because they had to set up a desktop workstation. That has had to be purchased directly from uh, the office supply store. A lot of players went into the furniture store and obviously bought a desk and a chair and didn't really figure out how to set it up. We have now changed that so you can buy the desk and the chair for any kind of business. The only requirement is a computer. And once you got that, there will be a list of requirements like the desk and the chair that you need in order to uh, use that specific uh, computer as a workstation. It, it, that sounded complicated, but it really isn't. It's, it's much more uh, flexible and easy to use now. And the very last feature of Beta 2 that we are at least announcing is um, the current address. So if you look at the bottom right corner, you will now always be able to see exactly where you are in the city. That brings an end to this Beta 2 announcement. I hope you guys like what we've been working on. And as always, we are very much looking forward to all of your feedback to this bunch of new, uh, new features. Thank you so much for watching and playing. See you next time.